Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are doing an unboxing of all of the Animal Adventure stuff that we have. We have here the Animal Adventure RPG starter set, which we'll be looking at. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, big dog. Um, we have the Adventures of the Faraway Sea source book. We don't have the Secrets of Gully Cove source book because freaking Firestorm hasn't sent it to us yet. Despite the fact that I ordered it over a week ago. Same day delivery. <laughs> uh, we have the Rat King of the Gullet Cove that we're going to be uh, opening. We have the Kickstarter uh, exclusive, the Kickstarter backer one, which is the Questing of Tooth and Claw, which is the first, is the two sets of six cats from Cats and Catacomb 1 and 2, but also comes with a special 13th Necromauser. Uh, we also have the Steamforge website exclusive. This is Tooth and Paw, which is very, very cool because it comes with a wear shark. We have. There you go, just handing me things over. Uh, we also have the website exclusive Mutt and Bailey, the Legend of the Golden Crab, which comes with special Mutt and Bailey ones and the Golden Crab. Mutt and Bailey are two of the NPC characters, I'm aware, I'm told. We have the cats of the Faraway Sea. We have the enemies of Gullet Cove. We have Time in a Bottle, which I'm very, very excited to do. I'm going to be the one that's going to be the DM for that one. And we have the Raiders of the Lost Coast. So we're going to be going through each of these. I reckon this is probably going to be a fairly long video, but it's going to show everything that comes in each of the things that I just pointed out there. So, this is the Animal Adventures RPG starter set, so let's just take a look at the opposite side of it. There's the back. It comes with Chantley, Elvis, Brianna, Kai, Solan, Whisper and Molly. And there's what the set includes, tells you everything there. This is the back of it, it's very very lovely, very nice artwork. Also I am joined here with the Big Dog. Hello. We have the Big Boss Man. Previously the Big Boss guy. And we have the Edge Marquee. Hello. Uh, also, we do not have a microphone because we are using the other phone because the first phone is still in the middle of uploading YouTube videos. So the sound quality might be a little bit different because normally we've got a microphone that sits about here. But the new phones don't have a microphone part. So we, we, we can either plug in the phone and charge it or we can plug in a microphone. So <laughs> hopefully this sounds okay. Uh, we are we're doing our best. So uh, this is the Animal Adventure set. So. Uh, in it, you get one big double-sided map. So this is everything that you need for your adventure, for the starter adventure. Uh, you've got your forest area, you've got the uh, the laboratory. The laboratory. Uh, we've got the mansion part here. Uh, well, I guess we've got two mansion parts. So that is what comes in that one. Uh, the, the maps are good quality as well. Uh, nice, not just... Well, they are papery, but they're, they're strong paper. You also have your Animal Adventure RPG Starter Set uh, DM screen. This is the only DM screen you can get, which looks absolutely lovely. And on the inside, it's everything you need for the Starter Adventure, but uh, not for any of the other adventures. But it's very cool to see that you've got all the information for what your characters are, uh, what the enemies are and such for that. So uh, we are also going to be using this for DM screen for our first session. Um, Big Boss Man is going to be doing our first session for us, so that is that. Uh, we have the Animal Adventure Rulebook, which I'm not going to go through all of it, but you can see that it all has very, very lovely artwork. It's all very colourful. Uh, it tells you the entire scenario, the entire scenes for what is going to happen, and it also has the enemy encyclopedia and, of course, credits at the end. And then there's also a little thing we can tick off the characters that you have and the characters that you don't have. Uh, so you can try and collect them all, and those are the seven that come in this set. And I believe that Chantilly, the Labrador Fighter, is a special exclusive to the starter set. Um, I don't know if that is available anywhere else. Uh, also in the starter set, we'll look at that in a second, we have the character sheets, which are very, very nicely done. They are... you have all seven of them. And they're very, very easy to look at and very easy to read. Easier than the ones that are on the Steamforge website, which we will take a look at them a little bit later. In fact, actually, if you just show me uh, my character, 
This is the character I'm going to play as. This is uh, Sonia, the main Kun fighter, which was printed out by the Big Boss Man. And there's a lot of stats on here that are confusing and I'm told are wrong. Uh, I don't really know that much about uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, I am more a proficionado of Dragon Strike, which is a more basic version of Dungeons & Dragons. I don't think basic is wrong. I think it is fine. It makes it simpler and easier to run these sort of games. But from what I'm told, there's a lot of the stats here that are incorrect for a fighter. Uh, Big Dog was pointing out that he shouldn't have... Disadvantage on his stealth. Disadvantage on stealth because he's not wearing heavy armour. Okay. And... Also, the character the Edge Marquis is going to be playing as, it says Barbarian, but it's actually a Paladin. Correct. And there's a few of the stats that are wrong on that one as well. And there's a few of the stats that are wrong <laughs> on this one. So I think we're going to be changing a couple of these things. Also, they don't have weapons, and they're supposed to have weapons. I assume they should have weapons anyways. Yeah, because yes. it says there's here that he has bait attacks. Have but weapons. Yeah, well. each of these ones it tells you. Like, this one has a long sword, this one has a great sword. Uh, Solana has a crossbow, um, a light crossbow, and so on and so forth. So I think yep. the stuff in the start set, and also on the back of it, you've got all the special abilities and everything as well. Uh, I think the stuff in the starter deck is actually written better than the ones that are on the website. Yep. Um, I was going to say, if you look here at our little Bengal Ranger, it does tell that she does have a short bow equipped. You mm -hmm. would think every character would have a weapon. But apparently not, which is very strange. Um, I even asked uh, Big Boss Man if it was possible to get the weapons. Oh no, those need to stay where they are because that is oh. what is my. Uh, that, that's what's telling us where the range of the camera is. Um, so, uh, Boss Man, you need to go back on the camera and see it and make sure that these aren't on cap. Because <laughs> he just moved the, the things that were telling us. Um, where the camera can see. Yeah? Okay, so... Um, when you're good, you're good. So, the other thing that we have here is, these are the tokens, we've already, um, you know, snapped these out when we did the original adventure set. So we've got the Wrathbone tokens, we have... Eight from zombie rats? No, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zombie rats. Uh, we have four goblin nappers, we have one master key, four poison flasks, six uh, poison uh, potions A, two potions B, and four cages, uh, which are meant to be used for the final scenario in the boss fight against uh, Dr. Krankenstein. Oh, there's Dr. Krankenstein as well. And this is the last thing that you get here. You get all of these lovely dice, uh, which all have the little paws on them. So the paws take the place of the largest number that you can get. You have two d20s, a d8, a d6, a d4. Uh, the d4 doesn't have a paw on it. Uh, a d10, uh, a d100, which doesn't have a paw on it as well. Uh, so that is for when you're doing the percentage rolls. And a d12. So everything that you really need for your D&D &D set. And now I'm going to show off some of the miniatures. Uh, to the camera. So the big boss man is going to pass them to me since he is sitting there. Oh. Okay, so this one is the Labrador fighter, uh, first of all. So as you can see here, very well detailed, very, very lovely. Uh, she has the sword in her mouth, she's wearing all of her armor. It's very lovely. Like, there's a lot of detail put into these, which I think is very, very cool. Uh, now the idea is that you're supposed to paint them, but I am not a aficionado of painting. Uh, I used to do it a hundred thousand years ago, but I think that these look nicer uh, left the way that they are. Uh, so here you are, boss man. Put it back where it came from. Uh, who is this next one? This one is the Sheba. Uh, it is Kai the Sheba. Um, I'm just going to let Big Dog tell me which ones. So. You can see there is very, very excitable. Uh, this is one of our few dogs that we have because we only have the dogs from the starter set. Uh, Bus one. Uh, next up, we have. Oh, when you're ready, Bus one. Uh, I believe that this is Brianna. Brianna the Paladin. Brianna, who is a Paladin, uh, big knight, has a big sword and shield on the side of her. Uh, she also looks like she has crossbow bolts on the back which is very, very nice, very cool to see. 
Uh, next up is Elvis the Bard. Elvis the Bard, and look at him. He is a cocker spaniel, I believe. Uh, he's got his little musketeer hat. He's got a little bag of money, a little sword on his back. Which is very, very cool. Very nice to see. Next up is Molly the Rogue. Oh yeah, it's a, a Lyco or such. So very, very timid looking, but has all the equipment on her back. Very cool. So it's a rogue character. And then we have Whisper the Sorcerer. Whisper the Sorcerer. And there he is. Uh, he is an Egyptian male, is he? He's a Sphinx. Oh, he's a Sphinx. Okay. <laughs> oh, she is. Oh, she's a Sphinx. Okay, so it's a sorceress, not a sorcerer. Yeah. And then last up, we have Solon. Yep, Solon the Warlock. Who is a warlock? You can see, and he has his extra fluffy coat, which gives him additional defense. So that is everything that comes in the starter set. So now that we've got the starter set out of the way, um, if you guys can move that to the side, then we will open up our next one. So I think, well, before we open up anything else, we will look at the first of our two source books. Uh, we don't have the other source book, again, because of Firestorm Games not sending it to us, even though we bought it and paid for it. So this is the second source book, which is uh, Animals of the Faraway Sea, and it does come with these maps. It comes selfie wrapped, and in the selfie wrap it comes like this. So this is just exactly the same as the back sheet here. And we have uh, a couple of maps. So this first one looks to be a beach sort of thing. I haven't actually opened these up to look at them, so this is my first time. Oh, okay, so we have two beachy areas, which is pretty nice to see. One is like a coast, one is like a beach. And then we have uh, a sort of inner garden and sort of rock area. So that is our first map. The second one uh, looked to be, I don't know, maybe part of like a kind of haunted pirate ship or such. That's what this puts me in mind of. We'll do it that way so that we can actually see everything. And then if we flip it over, oh, that's an interesting area. I don't know what that's all about, but that looks pretty cool. Maybe it looks like a temple inside mm. of the temple, and that looks like the outside. Oh, yeah, okay. So you think this might be some kind of like Aztec thing or something? Yeah, somewhere. Oh, very cool. And then this is our third map, which uh, puts me in mind of Mount Mordor. Well, actually, we've got a fire, we've got an ice part here. Um, so that's very cool. Is there also a little house here, I think? I'm not sure what that is. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a gem, maybe it's a house. I can't really see that much. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um. And then on the other side. Oh, on the other side, we've got the map. Oh, we've got an upside down, boss man. We have the map of um, the faraway sea itself. So, yeah, I was reading about this in the book where you can actually, like, you know, point to different areas that you want to go to and such, and they've got different. NPCs and things, so that's very cool to see. So it looks like these are maybe different islands from the faraway sea. So we're not going to go through the entire book, but we'll take a look at some of it. It has a very, very lovely uh, colour. Um, one of the things is the artwork and the colours on these look amazing. Let me just move this over a little bit more to the centre so that we can take a proper look at it. Now you can see um, it has all the traits for the different new animals that you can do. And it's probably easier if you do it because I'm having to reach across here. So if you start going through some of the pages, yeah. that's a whole new class of the Tinker yes. Mage. She actually starts a new class of Tinker Mage. And I believe that this comes with, it's either four or it's five um, different adventures. Uh, four. Four adventures that are preset up. You have the Watcher class. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, scroll that a bit more faster. Yeah, that's what. And you've got subclasses. Mm -hmm. sub a, a little bit faster, but as well. Yeah. <laughs> Very a bit faster, please. <laughs> okay, so um, here is all the information on doing island generation. There's what some of the islands look like. 
Okay, so you can see that there's a few of them that don't have maps, but um, from what I understand, the idea of this is to help you come up with your own scenarios, give you ideas for some of these, um, but you do have a few of the things yourself. So you can see there that some of the elements have stats and you know what you can expect from the exploration and what you can find and such. So, and then we've got the friendly faces, which is your NPC characters. <laughs> Large dragon, copper, chaotic good. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Let's see when he shows up. Oh, Baby Kraken. And. Here we have some, oh, Nick of Time. This is the one that I'm really looking forward to doing as well. This is the one that's going to use uh, the Walrus Brothers and Doctor Mr. Fidget, even, uh, or Fidget. And Mr. Fidget is a man with a lot of time in his hands, literally. So <laughs> that is a very, very cool idea. There's one of the Walrus Brothers right there. So, um, and there is Fidget himself which looks very, very cool. Um, so I'm excited to run that. Now we can see some of the ice caverns when they get used. And then towards the back of it, we have the character sheets. And these character sheets look to be a lot better made than these ones. Uh, let me see, well, let's compare my own one there. So there is Sonia, the main coon fighter. And here is Charm, the what is Paladin. Yeah. So you can see there that this one gives you a lot more information on, like, you know, the carried gear, what the saving throws, skills, and etc. are. This one, it's still has the saving throws and things there, but you've got a lot more information that is better orientated for the player, I think, on here. And it looks like a lot of these are more correct than what these ones are. So I'm not sure what it was that happened with these ones, but maybe this is just because this is updated because this is the second of the source books. And then we've got notes at the back of it, which we shall never draw on because are we hell um, destroying or damaging this wonderful and expensive book? Uh, I believe the retail price of this is £44.99 in Great British Pounds. So uh, that is what we expect from the faraway sea. So uh, next up, um, I think we'll look at the cats first. So let's, uh, let's look at the playable characters first. So we have the cats in the faraway sea and we have the questing tooth and claw set. So the questing tooth and claw set came first. So we'll open this up first of all. So let's look at the back. There you can see, oh my God, jeez, what's that? Um, said blaming whoever was close by. There, there is, so these are your initial 12 cats and then the Necromauser is the special one. So there you see the questing of the claw. Let you guys read that for yourself if you so desire. Uh, just pause the video and you can read it. But we shall get into the opening of this. Um, scissors might be required. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not prepared in the slightest. This one is slowly bringing over the scissors. In the meantime, we shall take a look at the cats of the far we see. So, the only uh, mistake we saw here is that Earl is actually called Tiggs on the character sheet, and he's called Earl here. But he is a pixie bobcat, so that is correct. There we go. This man has brought over the scissors. So, uh, let's open this up, preferably without damaging the lovely box, because we're going to be keeping them in the box when they're not in use. Um, let's just try and get a little bit here. Hmm. Yes. You know what? Actually, we can go across here. There we are. Yeah, that's, that's slightly, mildly easier. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, you just look for the loosest part of the box. That is the best way to do these. So it does come with this <laughs> oh, big, big area there for, I believe that's Solan. Yes. Um, and, oh, this is interesting. Well, let's take a look and see what this is. I wasn't expecting this. What's that? Hmm? So, I'm not sure what this is. I think they might just be little art cards. Oh, they are! Oh, that's awesome! Do you want three? <laughs> yep, just three. So, that's our Laikoi Rogue, that is uh, Dragon Lee the monk. Oh, Han. Han, yep. And that is Solan the Sorcerer? Warlock. Warlock. Yes. That is very cool. Okay, well those are staying in their little... I think they're signed as well, by the way. I think that's what that is. Yeah. That's very cool. Maybe it was uh, three of the artists, maybe they... There was three different artists took part. So that is going to go into the box. Uh, so we're going to need the back of the box here. Okay, so... The bus man can <laughs> hand me cats and tell me what each one is. This one I know for a fact is the Necro Meowser. Also on the bottom of all of these cats, it all has this little um, P and P SFG. So the SFG is uh, Steamforge Games. I'm not sure what the P and P stands for. Um, I mean, cats and catacombs is C and C, and the doggies and dungeons is D and D. So I'm not sure what P and P stands for. So this one here is the Necromauser, which is refusing to autofocus. There he is. Um, he comes with a little zombie skeleton cat next to him as well. Oh, two zombie skeleton cats, one behind him as well. So this one here is the Necromauser. So he is only available in the special Kickstarter backer. Uh, Bossman, pass me a new cat. Can you take a minute to put them in nice and sleepy? I believe it's their Bambi, our Norwegian boys group. Ah, now I think this is the one that Big Dog is going to be playing as. That is correct. Oh, he's got he's got a big staff on his back. There he is. He is a big, big old beefy cat, which is absolutely wonderful. He is glorious. Uh, okay, so next up, boss man. Just pass me the new one. Wasting time, wasting everyone's time on YouTube. So this one is what he seems to have a harp on his back. Yeah, that will be Indy, the ragdoll bard. Ah, the ragdoll bard. Okay. And the ragdoll is the second largest uh, species of house cat that you can obtain. Uh, next up. Appears to be Whisper, this thing. Ah, okay, so like although we've got Whisper in the starter set, Whisper was also part of Cats and Catacombs 1, uh, so this is just as you've got a second Whisper. Yeah, I think it's the exact same mould and print as the starter deck one as well. Uh, this is Moy the Lycoy Rogue. Ah, okay, so I think we had the Lycoy Rogue as well as Whisper. So I think these ones are all from set one. Next up. Uh, this is Cleo the Bengal Ranger. Oh, now this is a new one. Uh, you can see that he's got a bow and the little thing of arrows in his back, a Fletcher, that's what they're called, I think. Not sure. Someone can let me know. Quiver. A what? Quiver, quiver, yeah. A Fletcher well, is someone that makes, makes yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm sure Fletcher is incorrect, but I knew it had something to do with arrows. Um, so there he is. Very cool, a ranger. This is Solan, the Persian warlock. Ah, uh, yes. We have Solan once again. Once again from the original um, starter set. Looking just as big and as fluffy as he did in the previous one. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. What's one? This is Brook, the Scottish Fold Cleric. Oh, here he is. Oh, look at him, he's a Scottish Fold. Look at his little ears. He looks absolutely fantastic. He's got a little backpack on and everything. And he's a cleric. And if you guys could stop shaking the table, Jesus. <laughs> um, there he is, okay. This is Hester, the Obsidian Wizard. Oh, he's a wizard. He's got a raven on his uh, shoulder as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. See, I would think this is more of a druid because he's got the, the animal, but possibly not. It's most likely it's familiar. Your character? Oh my goodness, this is Sonia, the main coon fighter. Um, this is going to be Grand Cat. Oh, his sword actually doesn't attach to the, the books. His sword's actually been held aloft. That's interesting. I'm going to have to be careful and make sure that, that doesn't snap off. This <laughs> is so, hmm, worrying. But. Oh, you can certainly tell that he's the leader because he is standing on a set of books to make himself larger than all the other cats. Also, the main coon cat is also the largest type of cat, the, the largest type of house cat you can get. So, um, yeah, this, this cat here was the reason I bought this set. It was specifically just for this main coon with the sword, which I thought was very, very cool. This is Barnabas, the Korat Paladin. Oh, this is the Paladin. Um, this is the one that on the character sheet it says Barbarian, when it absolutely is not. It is sheer lies. And he's wearing the heavy armour as well that a Paladin does wear. Um, he's got his big sword on his back as well. So, yep, absolutely. This, this is a Paladin cat. This is Han, the Dragonway Monk. Uh, this is the one that the boss man wants to play as when... He is not doing the um, the dungeon mastering. And you can see that he's actually standing on, like he's got one leg up, he's standing on his leg and his tail. He's got his staff there and, um, has he got something in his hand or is it just his fist? It's just his paw. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's just trying to punch. He is the way of the open hand. So oh, that is, that is what karate stands for. one is Pocus Bobtail Barbarian. And the, oh. the <laughs> Look at him, he's amazing! He's got his back all hunched up, he's got a big axe, yeah, a big battle axe in his back. Um, he's got his big armour on. Oh my goodness, he is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think I love him. <laughs> okay, so that is all 13 of the cats that you get in the Cats and Catacombs uh, Questing Tooth and Claw set. So that is all going to sit there. Uh, these don't come with character sheets. Character sheets you do find online on the Steamforge website. So uh, next up we are going to... Oh, I guess I have to walk all the way over here. Um, there has to be a, an, a better way of doing this. Next up is the Cats of the Faraway Sea. You know what, I'm just going to have... Oh, I guess, and I'm, I'm juggling here as well. We're just going to have Bossman pass me things from now on. So this is the Cats of the Faraway Sea, that we can see here. Um, and on the back, you can see there, we have Ada, Huff, Charm, Missy, Lintel, and Tiggy. Oh, and the Bossman is opening something else. Don't you open things? Oh, my goodness. I thought I had that opened, I did. No, I'm the one knocking the camera. So... Let's do the unboxing of the cats of the faraway sea. Just going to do it up here on camera. So, I wonder if we get any bonuses here? Nope, no bonuses. So... Bossman is going to be passing these to me as well. Is this cell tape in? I think this is cell tape in. You know, you need to remove the cell tape from those. You have scissors right there, Bossman. I know, but I don't like that. Plastic carrier. I see. For anyone that is new to this channel, we uh, do all the unboxings from start to finish with um, no breaks in between. So this is exactly what you can expect to see and what you can expect to get from your own uh, if you order one.
Okay, so what is our first one? We shall start with Huff, the Vicoy Druid. Okay, so this is our Druid. You can see there he is on the back of a big stick. He looks very, very cool. The horns remind me of... Um, boss man, you help me out with this. Um, Monty Python, the Holy, Holy Grail, yeah. uh, the wizard. You may call me... Tim! Tim! That's it. He reminds me of Tim. <laughs> um, I think that's... I think whenever I see anything like that with the big horns and things, I always think of, you know, Monty Python and like, you may call me... Tim. Uh, okay, so there we are. So he is a, a druid, you said? Yes. Okay, next up. Next is, I believe this to be Charm, the Chantilly Tiffany Paladin. Oh, so we have another paladin. Very, very cool. He's got the big cape flowing. Um, he's got his big tail. Also, like, these ones are now on rocks and things, you know, they're not just the cat by itself. Um, I think that they've really done upgrades to the later ones, because this is Cats from the Far Away Sea, which is their second season of uh, Animal Adventures. Pass me the next one first, then and fix. This is Missy the Oriental short hair Wizard. Oh, well, you can certainly tell this is a wizard by the big hat and the staff on the back. He also has a little cape and is in the middle of reading a book as well, which is also very, very cool to see. And the book is actually in mid-page turn as well, which can't have been easy to for them to model, but it looks very, very cool. Next up, this one. This is Lintel, the Siamese Rogue. So this is Lintel, the Siamese Rogue. And he's on the top of what looks like some kind of pillar or something. Hmm. He's got some money there. Ah, of course, well, he is a rogue. And, oh, his legs are actually crossed over. That's a very, very interesting way. In terms of animation, that's very cool the way that they've done that. Um, he also has his little knives on his back. His little pouches. Very, very cool. This is Errol, the pixie bob of Barbarian. Ah, so this one isn't actually Errol because Errol is actually one of the dogs. This one is Tiggs the Pixie Barbarian, so it's hilarious because it's actually quite a small cat, but it is a very, very aggressive miniature little tiger of a beast, which is very, very cool to see. Uh, it doesn't even have a weapon, it's just wearing all the, the armour. Uh, it looks almost like a bit like Mongolian armour, um, sort of chainmail and things. Very cool. And this is last Ada, up, the Scottish Fold Tinker Mage. Oh, so this is the brand new Tinker Mage, and oh my goodness, look at him with his his top hat on. He's in mid jump, and he has Charles Baggage with him, uh, not to be not to be mistaken for Charles Babbage, who helped invent the internet. Um, he's got a little tea set on top of the the luggage. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Um, yep, he is a very, very um, sort of Victorian style uh, gentleman of a cat with a little monocle and his little top hat and everything on. <laughs> he looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, he is a tinker mage. Okay, so there we are. That is that one. So the video is now approaching 33 minutes and we have just... Uh, we've, we've went through all of the cats, so I think... We're going to stop the video here and we're going to do a second video on all of the enemies and all the other special things that we can get. So, that's going to be it for this little video, folks. Uh, stay tuned for part two. It will be coming up shortly. And if you enjoy this video, please give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click the notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go out. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.